Namaste. Annie from St. Anne's Cheese Company. Welcome to our channel. Come change the world one nibble of cheese at a time and elevate your cheese game. Ba ha ha As some of you know, I was very sick last year, ended up having an orthopedic surgery that did not go well, and the recovery was very, very difficult. At times I thought I was going to lose my foot and my life. If it weren't for the cheese making animals and many people who put me back together again, I would not be doing this program. I am a big believer in therapeutic animals and the rehabilitative process and that takes forms in lots of different ways. In my case, um, I, I wanted to have cheese making animals. I know puppies can do that. I could have got a bunny. But of course, I'm in the cheese world and goats and cows and sheep did that for me over this past year and I wanted to share it with you. The goat yoga movement started in 2016 by a woman named Lainey Morse. She is out in Oregon and she had an autoimmune disease. She found that when she was out working with her goats, her health also took a change for the better. Her friend encouraged her to combine her goats with yoga and the rest is history. Finally, it is coming to Ohio. It is coming to cities. So these are going to be pygmy goats. They're smaller than dogs, bigger than bunnies and we're going to have a lot of fun doing movement. It is for all levels, 16 and above. We will have chair yoga for people who don't wanna get down on the ground and get back up, the stand to sit move. Or if you are a more aggressive, fit um, person, bring that mat and we will do more activities from the floor and up. So when you're picking up the little goats or petting them, you'll be doing more stretching. Oh, and it gives us a chance to talk about goat milk, goat cheese. I would say 40% of Ohioans have not had a lot of experience with goat cheese. We have not been able to sample a lot of cheese. The big difference between cow milk and goat milk is, is a protein. I'm gonna do one piece of science, it won't be painful. It's all about this A1 versus A2 protein. And the milk from a cow can come in these two different formats. We're finding that um, A2 milk um, is more digestible and easier on the tummy. Goat milk is A2. It has been known to be more digestible and easier on the tummy for a long time. Some people say goat cheese tastes barnyardy. And I want to address that really quickly here. Go um, goats are little lawnmowers. They will eat anything. Cows and sheep, they're more picky on their diet. Goats, they will eat weeds and roots and kind of icky things that impart a bitter flavor into cheese. I was with a farmer last week and she was describing to me that her goats were nibbling on milkweed. And milkweed is a very acid, acidic, bitter uh, flavor and we would not want that in cheese. So the goats that we're making uh, goat cheese with are more confined to a regular diet like alfalfa um, and some maple and we have some secret ingredients in their feed that we think translates into amazing cheese. We will be uh, sampling some of our goat cheddar. We have a pepper jack, our vegetable cheddar, and I'm really, really loving our goat feta. We will also be sampling some fancy cheeses from California. My favorite cheese is Humboldt Bog. It's a beautiful artisan cheese that has a layer of vegetable ash and samples some wines to elevate your cheese game. And it allows us to continue on with our mission to change the world one nibble of cheese at a time. Namaste. See you soon. Bye.